Morning Show with your host Sparky and the Skeeter Raider. Good morning and welcome to the Morning Show. We're glad you guys have tuned in. Get it? Tuned in, that's the whole theme, right? Am I right? Well, I'm Sparky McSpartan, and this is Brad, the Steenolator, the Steenoling, Brad. Hey, peeps. Hey, Sparky. Crowds of people have gathered outside to get a glimpse of me. I mean, us. Uh, let's turn around and say hello. Hello, the young old Eva. Hey, and I'm Chloe. And we're the fans! Woo! We'll touch base with those folks later, and maybe just find a way to get them in. But for now, on with the show. Today we're talking about getting tuned in. And where do we get our power and strength from? We get our strength from... Strength from space? Yeah, what space. What does that mean? Up in the sky, like in a galaxy far, far away. Well, actually, the galaxy isn't that far away. It's right upstairs. It's where the kids come and worship on Sunday mornings. But that's besides the point. I don't think that space is what we're talking about. I think what you mean is faith. Strength from faith. Oh, faith. We've been talking about that a lot in the galaxy this summer. Believing in what you can't see based on what you can see. Faith is putting your trust and hope in it, in God. I remember there's a story like that somewhere in the Bible. I can't remember who or what. I mean, there's something. Yeah. What's that? Breaking news? What? Alright, so the dude's in a lion's den? Yes, a lion's den! Alright, well we got a roving reporter on location. Dave, can you tell us what's going on? Hello there, folks. This is Roving Dave, the reporter. I'm here in Houston, Texas, where there's an actual report of a man caught in a lion's den. Um, that's not a lion's den, and I'm pretty sure those aren't lions. They're bison. Yes, yes, but they are really dangerous. Just look at the sign. All right, so is there a lion's den? Did anybody fall in? Is this a real thing? Is there, is there any danger? Actually, this reminds me of a story from long ago. A story from the Bible. A story of a guy who was thrown into a lion's den. He loved God and prayed every day. The king wanted him to bow down and worship, but Daniel refused. Let's see what happens. 2011, MC Rap Master Flex Rock. Bringing it to you from the city. West side of H-Town in the city where I live Holding it down for my family and my kids Now let me tell, tell you a story about a man Named Daniel and his journey in a lion's den Now Daniel lived in Israel a long time ago And when he was a kid he got captured by foes And they took him down to Babylon to serve the king But Daniel lived for God in spite of everything Now the king looked around for someone good Someone he could trust and do the things he should and when he picked Daniel, it made others mad So they figured out a plan to make Daniel look bad uh. These men came to the king and thought he was cool They said, may we suggest just one simple rule For 30 days and nights you alone will pray And then we'll feed to the lions those who don't obey Lions who owns lions? So we said okay, and the rule was made a law. Now the other men watched to see what they saw. When Daniel went to his room down to pray, he thanked the Lord and asked for help like every other day. Like every other day. Now they told the king that Daniel disobeyed Now the king was sad but he couldn't change the rule that he'd made And so the men took Daniel and brought him to the lion's den And 
when the morning came The king took flight to the lion's den to see if Daniel was alive And the king looked in and saw he was alright Cause an angel came down and shut their mouths tight Wow, can you believe that story? Daniel had faith that God would protect him, and he did. He stayed safe from the lion's den. I'm not saying I'd like to be thrown into a lion's den, or kitchen, or basement for that matter, but man, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, Daniel totally powered up from his faith in God. He was tuned into the source God, and was able to get his strength to persevere from him. That's right, folks. The Bible tells us in Isaiah 41.10, So, so do, do not fear, for I am with for you. I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. This is Dave, the roving reporter, signing off. Until the next time, so long. That guy's a little off, don't you think? As Sparky would say, am I right or am I right? I don't know, dude. I'm not even, I'm not even getting in that, but I'm Sparky. And I'm Brad. And tune in tomorrow when we'll explore dust. Dust. Like dirt dust? Yeah, like dust. Like can of pledge, dust, you know, some dust bunnies. Uh, we'll have to see about that. Until then, see y'all later. <laughs>